Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and today we're gonna do an ABX run with my level 60 Odin. And you might be surprised at how well this guy can do. Uh, he is definitely the strongest of Captain Marvel and Silver Surfer on Universal Day. This dude is ridiculous, I have no doubt about it. Uh, Vader G was able to hit 9.7 million with this guy that is absolutely ridiculous and that's really due just to the fact that this guy's got this freaking silence on his third skill it's so much easier to silence the beast with this character that it's not even funny now it isn't guaranteed that you're always going to silence him sometimes when you hit it it seems like it misses i'm not really sure why you might have to do a few runs but he definitely is easier then uh, Silver Surfer to silence the beast. Definitely easier than Captain Marvel. She's the worst of the three when it comes to silencing the beast. Uh, definitely the most consistent. Odin's the easiest of them all. So if ABX is your concern and you want to get the highest score possible, I think Odin's going to be your guy. But he's definitely going to be at the tier three. Uh, tier two, it's just not going to happen. So let's run through this build. He has 22,000 energy attack. He has 126 attack speed, 58 crit rate, 166 critical damage. These are bad stats. I have a CTP of Rage on this guy. This should be at 75% and that should be at 75%. His dodge, 50% dodge. So we're losing 25% dodge. We're losing uh, 15, 17% crit rate. That's a lot. And we're losing 34% critical damage. That is a lot of damn damage that we're going to be losing. We got max ignore defense, max skill cooldown. He has only five star Urus in all of his slots, and I even have slots that are empty that I could put something in, which is pretty crazy. So he can go way further than this, way further. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't get any buffs. Well, okay, he does get a crit rate buff, so my crit rate's gonna be maxed out, but the, the dodge is not gonna be maxed out, and the critical damage is not. So we will have max crit rate. I actually forgot about that. But that's good, that's good. That's gonna help proc that CTP of Rage. And man, he is just nutso. And he only has a stage six Power of Angry Hawk set. I don't even have a fully awakened set. If this was fully awakened, he would have higher stats. He would get this set bonus, which would give, uh, when it's fully awakened, a 40% increase of all attack instead of 20%. Be a massive difference in the damage he's doing. It's really crazy how much power this guy has. And I do have a CTP of Rage. It's really the way to go with Odin because he just, he has this long cooldown, this nine second cooldown. You're gonna find it's pretty rough to do well with a CTP of energy. The rage just smokes the crap out of it as far as ABX and world boss. If you just care about world boss, man, screw the rage. You don't need it at all. But at ABX, if you're going for the highest score possible, it's an absolute. And he has a normal ranked uni. This is what's gonna be crazy about this, insane, about this run. Normal ranked uni. A stage six power ring hawk set and those stats that you all saw now as far as the rotation at least now i haven't perfected a rotation this is no tutorial by any means uh but what i like to do is i like to hit the five and then i hit the five fifth skill and as soon as we go into this view here i hit the four then i hit the two and then i cancel into the one that second skill will keep doing damage while you're using your one you can actually use the two and just cancel into the one you can see the two skill just keeps doing damage so while your rage proc is engaged you're getting damage from the fifth skill while he's hammering putting the hammer and the sword down you're going to get a little damage from the fourth skill you're going to get damage from the two you're going to get damage from the one you're trying to combine all of those during the rage proc i can't tell you what to do with the tier three because i don't have him at tier three i just have no idea but yeah i would say since i'm abx focused and i want the easiest seven million possible I'm gonna go with this guy. I can get seven million with Silver Surfer, but it's actually really difficult for me, unless I wanna build Silver Surfer up even more. But I think I'd rather just keep Silver Surfer as a, use him as a PVP character and just use Odin as my PVE character. Uh, because he is insane. I actually think he's stronger than Silver Surfer and World Boss. He's just, man, he's a monster. Uh, with his uniform effect, does give him that chain hit damage by 20% when attacking. So he does synergize really well, the CTP of energy, no doubt. And if you don't have a CTP, you could always put a critical damage with a damage proc obelisk on him for PVE. Uh, you could put a CTP of greed on him for 
PvP. But I'm not, we're not talking about PvP, we're talking about PvE in this video. So, no, I'm sorry, buddy, not right now. So we're gonna go into ABX here. And this is the team that we're gonna be running with. We're gonna put Nova in there for his damage out to super villains and his 30% increase of energy attack. We put Odin in there. And then we're gonna put Ghost Panther in there because Ghost Panther is gonna offer an extra 45% damage out to super villains. Now I could put Phyla in there, but Phyla, she adds 30% attack to universal types, but 45% damage out to super villains is better than 30% all, all attack. Plus, Phyla offers skill damage, but Odin already has skill damage in his kit. They do not stack on top of each other, so it would be pretty much useless. Now, I've already pre-recorded a run because I wanted to get a run where I silence the beast every single time. He's going to do the roar three different times in the battle, and I wanted to make sure I silence the beast every time to try to get an optimal run. So, let's jump into the action and let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna see what we can do with this crap build. So we're gonna start with that three guard damage accumulation, cancel into the five, wait a little bit, hit the four, then the two, cancel into the one, and boom shaka laka. We're gonna do that again. You wanna try to avoid meters at all costs as well. That'll keep your score up as long as that blue bar in the top right hand corner is didn't go down like it just did as long as you don't get hit by meteors you're gonna be able to do more damage your score is gonna be much better but i'm really just trying to focus on staying in my rotation and making sure i can cancel the beast roar that is vital and that's something that's really nice about odin having three seconds of silence on that four skill is sweet on an eight second cooldown so at two minutes and eight seconds the beast will usually do a roar. So at two minutes and 18, because there's an eight second cooldown at that four, I make sure not to use the four skill like I just did. Now you see two minutes and eight, we're gonna hit the four. Boom, we canceled the beast roar. Now I've actually had runs, a couple practice runs I did prior to this, where I actually hit almost a million points in the first minute. So this isn't the best run as far as the damage we're getting out. The proc's been kind of off. It's been a little bit wacky. Uh, you really want that proc to land. As soon as you hit the fifth skill, you want that proc to land almost. Like a second after you hit the fifth skill. But it does get off, can't help it. That's just one of the things about CTP of Rage. But the second time the beast is going to roar as a, at a minute and 18 seconds. Now if the beast gets stunned by that giant meteor that's going to fall down, he usually will roar at about a minute 16 seconds. So depending on whether or not if he's stunned, that depends on when you should do the third, the fourth skill. So he got stunned. We're waiting, we're waiting. We're waiting, boom. Now I went ahead and hit it about a minute 17. And boom, we canceled the beast roar again. And it's one of those things you gotta play by feel. It really just takes a lot of practice. I mean, I'm actually still working on it myself. I'm actually quite new to try and, trying to cancel the beast roar every single time. Uh, I definitely don't have it down pat. But with Odin, uh, for a lot of you that maybe have trouble doing it, you, uh, I can let you know from a player that isn't very experienced with doing it he is definitely the easiest that i've seen so far to do this with man he is freaking insane now the beast's gonna roar again about 38 seconds he'll do it again so we need to make sure you have that four off cooldown at 38 and boom we hit the four and we cancel the beast roar again so three roar cancels come on now i actually had a run where i hit 2.3 million and I only cancel the beast roar twice. So really it depends on how often your proc lands and where it lands during your skills, your gameplay of course, how much you're avoiding the meteors, as to how much your damage you're doing. But I just wanted to show a run where we are canceling that roar all three times because it just looks a lot better when you don't see that little red icon showing that the beast didn't get canceled up above his meteor, above, above his bar. And there you can see we hit almost 2 million, which is a pretty crazy score for a level 60 character with these crappy stats that I have on. Just imagine, even being level 60, if I'd had a mythic uniform, if I would have had max critical damage, if I would have had max dodge, that damage would have been way, way better. In fact, I bet with a, a really, really good run, canceling the beast roar all three times, that this guy could probably hit almost 3 million at tier two even especially at level 70 i bet he could being at level 60 really puts a hurting on him but i am super blown away by odin's 
power. He is freaking amazing. So let me know how y'all feeling about Odin. Let me know if you plan on using him in AVX. I know I will. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.